I don't know how it happened. One minute you're young and fun and then the next minute you're just turning down the stereo in your car to see better. Alrighty, you know what time it is. It's Dollar Tree haul time and it's actually been a while since I've looked at this bag so I'm excited too, which is... <laughs> who's surprised by that? All right, so I hope that you guys are all having a great day. Um, sometimes I wish we could all just be like sitting together, you know, in a, what, what is this, Camp Dollar Tree? I don't even know where I was going with that, but whatever. I'm just going to show you what I found. But I think what I was trying to say is I bet it would be so fun to just do like everyone goes and, you know, on their own and grabs whatever they want from Dollar Tree and then we all like sit in a circle and share it and <clears throat> how many people just unsubscribe just now okay let's go and dive in warning I picked up some um Easter stuff but I felt like I had to because I wanted to make sure that I had this stuff in my collection I didn't pick up everything because I know that there will still be you know the quantity later on for when I want to really dive into Easter stuff um <clears throat> excuse me I feel like I have something you know I have to like keep clearing my throat um yeah so anyway we're just gonna see some Easter stuff and also I got one random thing for St. Patty's Day which is this package of um the pot you know the the pot at the end of the rainbow kind of thing and I just don't know. I used to decorate a little bit for St. Patty's Day, and then it just became something that fell off my radar. I don't know if I'm really going to go into it again this year, but I think that it would be fun if I did like a St. Patty's Day um, care package for my daughter. I did see some questions about if I'm doing Valentine's Day, and I am. So <clears throat> I probably need to get on that soon. But anyway, so I got this pack and I think it's crazy that you get five of these for a dollar and it would be really cute if you put like little candies in it and if you have like multiple kids, you can give them each a little pot of gold, I guess, right? But um, yeah, so I'm going to do something with this for a care package. I thought I could put like little earrings or something in it for my daughter or like gum or something. So that's where I was headed with that. Okay, here are the things that I got for Easter. Look at these decorative picks. And then you can see one is what looks to be a boy and then a girl. And I really, really love it. They look amazing. They're made out of burlap. Look at that beautiful detail. These are just stunning. I think these, if you love decorating for Easter, these are a must grab for that. I don't I feel like I don't remember them doing this last year, but if you're new to my channel, hi. Um, Long-term memory problems. So, um, yeah. And then I picked up some more Easter stuff. Here are some more decorative picks. What I found interesting about these is that they have the little um, white tail, like the, you know, the bunny tail. And I was just like, did they do that? last year i couldn't remember if you remember comment and let me know i love blue easter bunnies just this packaging alone is inspiring me so much to almost do like a sky baby blue theme for easter i don't know i'm just really feeling this and it's a four pack you could really make a gorgeous you know flower arrangements um, or you could even pull them off of the picks and do them as toppers for either like mason jars or um, I know that creating those farmhouse house trucks um, You know how they fill it up like with a Christmas tree for Christmas or flowers for spring you could fill them up with like little These little bunnies in the back of a truck if you like already have one That would be really cute and I know I got yeah, I also got it in pink and purple which I got doubles of the pink I don't know I I guess I was feeling the pink sorry the, the camera's washing it out because it's just a little bright but there we go you can see how lovely they are just the quality of the work looks really good for a dollar I like that all the eyes are properly placed and that they're black so it stands out but after seeing this I feel like I love the blue more 
And then here's the gorgeous purple. I don't know, did they do the, the bunny, the fluffy white tail last year? I don't know, comment, also comment and let me know what you would do for a DIY for that. All right, we're gonna just take a hard left. This is in no particular order, by the way, and I have to cough. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I found this new set of the reusable coffee mugs. I love finding these at Dollar Tree. Always pay attention because they'll sneak some new ones out and sometimes the patterns are so similar, um, you miss that it's new. And this one says, but first coffee, and then the O is a coffee cup. What I love about these is that it's dishwasher safe, microwave safe, and BPA free. And BPA free is really the one that I look for. So it does say that right here on the label. Not all of them say that. And yeah, so that one's really important to me. And you get two for a dollar. Those are gonna be great too if you wanna like, if you need to create some type of gift for whatever it is that's going on in your life and maybe you're gifting like multiple people or you're putting like packages together for um, like a like a donation kind of giveaway thing, you know, when you create those those baskets of goodies, this would be something great to include because you, it's like 50 cents each, right? Okay, next up, I got some Valentine's Day candy and I went for the cotton candy. Um, I tried these for, what was it? Was it Halloween? And I thought it was so delicious. And I don't know if this is like the same taste because this one, uh, does it have the flavor on there? It doesn't say the flavor on this one. It just says cotton candy. And this one says cherry berry. I think the packaging is really cute. I love anything with these adorable little bees. Love it. <clears throat> Yeah, so anyway, make sure that when you are at the store that you pop this lid and make sure that the seal is properly on here. I don't know if I'm going to try these on camera or not just yet. So I'm just going to put these aside and then we'll try to, we'll try to try it. Oh my God, what am I saying? Uh, Nut-free, gluten-free, GMO-free, fat-free. It's 160 calories. Um... 42 grams of sugar. <laughs> so that's kind of where they get you. Um, okay, let's move on. I found some really cute, uh, I don't know what you would call this. Is it a toy? Is it kids decor? But they're sun catchers. What? And it's like, you know, brand stuff. This is Disney Pixar and it is Toy Story. And you see all the sun catchers that you get in here, but be warned or beware, whatever, that you actually have to color it yourself. So it is kind of like a DIY project for kids. Um, but yeah, so cool. But also, I, this idea just popped in my head, but you could do use these as charms for like your planner stuff. Maybe like well, this one could be too big. I mean, it's really up to you, like how you want to, you know, use your own stuff. But if you're doing like a Toy Story theme or something, you could maybe use these as a paper clip or something. If you're into the planner stuff, you, you're probably getting some ideas. But supposedly you hang these and then you have to color them. So I thought that was really cool. And they had a ton to choose from. I only picked up two. They had Spider-Man. They had... Uh, I don't remember. And then here's the Disney Princess one, but you only get Jasmine, Belle, and Ariel. So I don't know if like the other princess ones had more of the girls, but this was the only one that I found. And then you can see that it comes with the paint set and then it comes with a little thing to hang. Never saw those before. I mean, they've done sun catchers before, but I've never seen it in that style. All right, I picked up some gift bags. I have been getting a lot of new subscribers. I, I really have. I don't know what's happening. It's jumped so tremendously. So if you are new, comment down below and let me know. And thank you so much, by the way. Um, something you need to know about me is I... 
I have quite the Dollar Tree gift bag collection and honestly sometimes I'm just like what are you doing with your life but I can't stop myself and it has come in handy I can't tell you how many times I've had to go in there and I feel like I have my own little store of stuff and I can just kind of pick and choose what I want okay so let me show you what I did here because these sets that come in a pack of two are wedding sets. Now I don't typically go for those because I just don't go to, to weddings. Like I'm just not, I don't know, anyone else not really go to weddings as often as other people I guess. But um, what I found interesting about them wasn't the wedding ones, it was the doubles. So if I were to flip this around and show you the doubles that are plain, like look at those patterns together. Is that not stunning? Again, for that planner community alert, these would be beautiful as A5 dividers. And if you're probably wondering, like, what am I talking about? Because I get questions about that, too, like, whenever I talk about pocket letters or planner stuff. Um, you can cut these out. You can cut out the bag, and then you can laminate them and resize them and then punch the holes and then put them into your planner and you've created your own dividers or pocket folders. So just look at these. Oh my goodness, aren't those gorgeous? Yeah, so loved that find. And then this wine bag was hilarious. You had me at Merlot. <laughs> I don't know why, I think it's, I really don't think it's that funny, but apparently it is enough for me to laugh. I think that the pattern is, it's okay. I wish they would have done something a little bit more like those darker wine colors instead of these bright colors. But you could always cut this little piece out if you want to like create your own card or something. I don't know, whatever. So some ideas there. Okay, we are picking up the last bag. Yeah, well, is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um... A couple of hauls ago, I'm going to talk about this while I get some of this stuff out. A couple of hauls ago, I found the little fairy collection, but I didn't find very much. And then when I went back, I, I ran into a jackpot of this stuff. So that's what I want to show you. Um, Dollar Tree's doing a two different combinations of this fairy stuff and I'll show you what I mean. One has this candy theme. It has a lot of dusted glitter on it. You can see it's just like Hansel and Gretel kind of thing, right? And then they're doing something like this where it's not, not sweets related at all. Just looks like some cute little hobbits or fairies live here. So I feel like the two are totally different collections. And so I finally found a different, so we'll start with the candy one. So I found this one. <gasps> Look at that. And I'm using, I'm keeping these for my niece. So like when she comes over, she'll have, <clears throat> you know, stuff to kind of play with. I can just throw it all into a Dollar Tree storage bin, put it away. And then when she comes over, you know, there we have it. And then I also found all the little charming little pieces to it. So it looks like a gazebo. You see all the frosted icing. Look at that. What in the world? I'm I'm honestly shook a little bit. Here's a little table. Oh, it's focusing on me. There we go. Isn't that cute? The, the bottom is like an ice cream cone. I love all the little details. And then this was kind of bizarre. I feel like, did someone give up when they were making this? Like, what was happening? Like, what is this? I don't know. Maybe my eyes are just not seeing what they were doing. But I think the colors are very odd, considering they were going with all these soft pastels. So I don't know. Am I missing something? It looks like a heart and a crescent moon. But maybe I'm just not seeing the intended visual and then here is this looks like a fence made out of lollipops oh my gosh so adorable however it's dollar tree so each item was a dollar right so it's kind of like a dollar but this random thing was also a dollar you know it's just how it works 
All right, now I'll show you the other set, which I really like too. I think it's probably a lot better than the, the ice cream set. This definitely looks like the kind of stuff that I've seen sold at Michael's and Hobby Lobby, because there's a whole craft thing if you want to create your own tiny little village or fairy set or whatever. Like that is at Michael's and it's gorgeous. Um, but these are a dollar, so it's such a steal. This looks like a bunch of tulips and you can see that it even has like the twine wrapped around it to cinch it in. There's the gorgeous door. There's even a window at the top. Oh my gosh, so like what do I say about this? Here's a little carrot house. Look at the top with the Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. I love all the flowers at the bottom too. And this was the one I showed you guys earlier. What flower is this supposed to be? I don't know, I'm kind of confused. And I love like the ombre of the, the green right there at the tip. I don't know if they meant to do that. That's not all folks. And then here is, I don't know what these are supposed to be, but, oh, they're calling this line forest, by the way. This is a whole forest fairy garden. Like, what are these? These are just doors? Yeah. This is welcome. I love the mushrooms. I love the pop of red. So look at that. This is just nuts, really. I mean, for a dollar, this one, look at the detail. And they even did the background light in yellow so it would look like a light is turned on. I love that. Okay, let's see. Should we try? Should we try these? All right, we're trying it. So the first one is purple. The camera is like washing it out a little bit, but it's a little darker. Mmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It tastes like... I feel like it tastes like the Halloween one. It's really good. I'm not... Not gonna lie to you, this stuff is really delicious. Mm. I honestly, I just want to ugly eat this. You know what I'm saying? Like when you just want to eat without like anyone around, and you just want to shovel it in your mouth. Okay, love this one. It tastes raspberry blue. Some yeah, something like that. Yeah, it has a raspberry taste to it and then this one is cherry berry it has a red tint when I opened this up I remarked on this last time it smells like nail polish remover which is so crazy like why would it smell like that but it doesn't taste like that at all I don't think the Halloween one was a cherry it was like a regular cotton candy one, I think. Eh, it's all right. I mean, it it doesn't really have much of a taste to it, but whatever they're doing to this blue purpley one, it is really good, like scary good. It makes you question life good. You know what I'm saying? All right. That's basically it. Um, that's the haul. Uh, comment down below. Let me know how you would use those bunny picks. Uh, yeah, and hopefully I'm going to be able to do some Easter DIYs for you guys. Uh, there should be some more Valentine's Day DIYs coming up too. And I already started decorating. You can see that if you're new to my channel. Um, I'll link that decorate with me video down below and I'm going to be decorating my bedroom soon too to do like a Valentine's Day spring transition. So stay tuned for that. And it's basically it. Also, I do want to say like this is just one last thing before we go. But if you're new to my channel, <laughs> um I originally started my name as Cheap Crafty Girl. It was the name that I created for myself back in 2011, you guys. You know, when YouTube was really still very new and I just, I never once thought that I would even create what I've created now. Like, honestly, I didn't. It was really a temporary thing and I never once thought about 
you know, how I could change what I'm doing on YouTube later on down the line. So then I decided to drop the cheap part off of my name and just do Crafty Girl um, because I've lived with that name for YouTube for so long that I didn't want to do an complete different change of my name because it was just kind of this thing that was my own type of branding but I don't really do crafts that often as of lately that's not to say that I won't later on because I really do feel like there's going to be a lot of home decor stuff that I'm going to DIY and share with you guys but I just want to explain that that's not like I you know you when you have a channel sometimes your passions change and you you grow and you you find other things interesting and that's just kind of what happened but my name when I first created it my intent was really just to just do DIYs and then I just kind of progressed out of that a little bit more so um, it's not that it's misleading it's that I don't want to change it again so anyway that's that hopefully that clears up anything and I don't know yeah where am I going with the ending of this? Who knows? I'm horrible at outros, by the way. Okay, so I hope you all have a really good day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.